Oh. That was a long wait. Woo! This time to do some critique the community. Are you ready, Pi? Whenever I come out of a hot tub, I'm thinking of critiquing photos. Let's do it. All right, guys, so the theme of this critique the community is wet. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come up with it. It was Joey Wright's idea. And this is your last night here in Puerto Rico. Oh, I got water all in my face. Are you How standing or your, I, 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 I don't know doing? what the most comfortable thing is. I'll sit. Maybe we could sit here. Um, just a heads up and a warning. I'm really tired right now. Yeah, so. it's, it's late, but I knew if we didn't film this now, you would be on the road heading home tomorrow. So. In like eight hours. Yeah. So, um, what's been your most memorable experience here in Puerto Rico? You've been here for like a week now, right? I had a lot of experiences. I don't think I can talk about it. Yeah. Well, what's one that just sticks out? You did something fun, right? We did the shoot off. <laughs> Choice selection of words. Um, I feel like the shoot off was awesome. It was fun. We got a lot of other content. We got lots of good stuff. We drove all the way out there and paid a lot of money, and then you shot the wall, which was like yeah. probably the most. You guys can check that video out, but we both lost. <laughs> so I guess that's a highlight. Some of us more than others. All right. Well, we should probably get to this critique. I've picked out 21 images to go through. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this takes like 45 minutes to an hour, and you know the whole system. Yes. We throw down a number, one five through is five. World class. Five is world class. Four is unbelievable. Three belongs in your portfolio, like solid image. Yeah. Two does not belong belong in your portfolio. It needs work. And then one is a snapshot. Okay. That's the way reverse. All right, Pi, before we get into this critique, we need to give everybody out there a critique for next week. What will be the theme for the next critique, the community? I really want to see a critique that's all about mood. So mood? moody images. Moody images. That's a pretty ambiguous. Not really. Moody's very clear. I mean. Versus wet? I mean, wet's pretty ambiguous too. I was worried about this critique. I don't know what we're going to see. Looks like it's going to Joey happen. was like, I shoot swimwear, let's do wet. <laughs> okay. Seems like a Joey thing to say, but... Pie's gonna go with moody, so that could be moody light. It could be anything that you're, however you interpret it. So when we get done with this one, the next critique you will see will be the best moody images. Not necessarily the best, but 20 random images off of stoppers. Mm -hmm. So if you want to submit to that and you have a moody image, go to the link below. You can submit it to the next critique community. Now I also have this uh, waterproof light. So we don't have a light in this hot tub, but I thought. Oh. You. That would be kind of cool too. So, all right, Look let me you. try to dry my hands off here. This is a F stoppers first. Oh, this is the first time you've ever done a video in the. Yeah, hot I've never tub. done a video in the hot tub. We're gonna see how. Well what do you think? Goes. We're crazy. I feel like I've seen you guys do this before. All right, so we're, we also only have one iPad. The subject so we're is to, wet. We're gonna have to share this. Yeah, okay. wet. So unlike some of the genres, you did one that was weddings. Yeah. And it was. Um, Obviously, does this picture belong in your wedding portfolio? This is going to be different because who knows what type of portfolio the wet image belongs in. But this is looking like something commercial. So, as always, we show the highest rated image first. Yep. This image is shot by Brian Rogers, which David is currently filming another tutorial with him. He is the guy that we teamed up with to do a product tutorial with a couple years ago. His work is all world class. I'm curious to see what the community rate rates this because the community always rates things ridiculously low okay you ready to rate yeah all right let's go three two one five i don't give many fives i don't know how often you give fives you've been on Not here just often. a few times this is one of those images that i remember always i mean conceptually it's wicked awesome technically it's awesome I and mean, it is a very memorable image using liquid to shape the mouth and the yeah. tongue. Like, I don't even know how he began to do this. No, there's um, I actually wanted to be a dentist before I became a photographer. Really? So I would help my dad set teeth like this and like wax them and carve them. And this is used to like figure out the occlusion, how your teeth touch and everything. And what is the, what do you think the commercial purpose of this image would be? I've wondered that before because I've seen this image many times and obviously I've worked with Brian. Um, I don't know if, like, if you're a dental lab, you're not really appealing to the public. You're just trying to work with dentists. So it yeah. doesn't really make sense for them, although that's kind of what this is. If you're a 
dentist, this is kind of a weird image to use as well. I feel like more than anything, it's just kind of showing off what you can do. And it's conceptual. Yeah, I could see like Adobe using this for Photoshop or for some, you know, some little opener. You know, mm -hmm. when you open up Photoshop, you see those crazy pictures. I don't exactly know the use of this. Um, and this is probably one of the weirder images that he has. It's very cool. It's very artistic. It is very cool. Stylized. If you guys want to learn how he does some of this stuff, we don't get quite this complicated in our tutorial, but you can check out uh, Brian Roger Jr.'s tutorial at the fstoppers.com slash store. See the community gave it? They gave it a 3.6. Are you serious? Yeah, our community is What would they be ridiculous. critiquing about that? I think a lot of our community, they rate everyone's image low on these contests because they want to try to win the free tutorial. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So, be... Sorry, I couldn't quite hear you. Could you please repeat what you said? Because Brian won this tutorial, and he doesn't need a tutorial, I've actually picked out the next highest image, which will be the actual winner of the critique. Okay. So this is the first free tutorial we're giving away. I wanted to include Brian's in because it was the highest image. But this is the second highest image here. This is wicked. Can you zoom into the... the They're not oh, the man. highest res images that they put on the community, but yeah, you can see... That's an incredible photograph. It All really right. is. I am ready for a rating. All right. Three, two, one. What'd you go? Five? Five. I went four. Now, okay. You guys do this whole number thing. If you're going to give it anything less than a five, I'm going to add a rule where you have to explain why. Well, I just... Five to me is like super memorable. It's like an image you'll never forget. And while this is technically an unbelievable bird shot, there's just some little magic... Like, the difference between a five and a four is like five percent. It's not a huge difference. Like, it's kind of like a curve, you know? Most of the images fall in the two and the three categories. There's some fours. To me, this is like a beautiful shot. I really want to know how this was photographed. I assume they set up a strobe and they just saw the bird doing this over and over again or multiple birds doing this over and over again. This has to be set up. There's no way you just I like... You don't... You don't just get lucky with a shot like this. I'll and you don't freeze the water. Like, there's no shutter speed. Like, this is shot with flash. I don't think it... I don't know. Come on, Pi. Look it at the beads of water. Be. You can see like little highlights in them. This is yeah. But if they also position it in a way where the sun was, well, yeah, it's probably flash. Go with a zoom to the eyes. What are the catch lights on the eyes looking like? It doesn't matter. It's a ridiculously cool image, and it looks like it was yeah some sort of light added. Yeah, that's not what natural light looks like. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm 99% sure this was shot with flash, which is cool. Like that's how you take this but photograph. The only reason that I would maybe not remember this photograph is because maybe I'm not, like, that into guy. birds. But, like, I, if you're into birds, this, to me, is top-notch. See, here's the thing, Are though. you looking for, like, the bird to be grabbing, like, you I know, don't know. a golden diaper? Yeah, I don't... I mean, I'm not a bird photographer, but when I talk to bird photographers or people comment on the comments in the YouTube video... People say like, oh yeah, like this is a common photo that many bird photographers take. It's like I don't I don't know what it is. I just keep thinking of like what is a National Geographic bird photo? And this would be published in that, no doubt. Uh -huh. But what does it take to become a five? I I don't quite know and okay. I value you saying this is a five to you? Like that's a either way the community we're splitting gave hairs. three point five. The community gives us a three point five three. So apparently tons of you out there think that this, this is, is just an average everyday shot. Average everyday. I like Four was portfolio, right? Three is portfolio. Okay, so that's Four least, is great image, solid image. Five is world class. Okay. So this so belongs in your portfolio. portfolio. If you had a whole portfolio of this, you would be a pretty amazing photographer. But community rates it a little a lot lower than us. I think us. it's a great shot, King for sure. Okay, so now before we go to the next image, you need to pick an image or a number two to twenty one. And that will be the winner of a free tutorial. So we do one high ranked. I don't know what you're doing. Nine, nine, number nine. Number nine. All right. So the ninth image that we get to, they will also win a tutorial of their choosing. All right. So this is a cool image, but I can already. I wonder how this was shot. Is this like in a kayak? You think? Yeah, or either like a like a boat that's kind of following from behind, and maybe they're like a little bit behind, but maybe they're zoomed in. 
Yeah, this is wild. Like, the composition on this and just the angle. Like, I don't quite know what I'm looking at, like, exactly what am animal, but it's pretty freaking I mean, the shapes and everything is super interesting. I think it's a really cool image. I love the water lines that you can see coming off the nose, like, as it's swimming. Like, you can yeah. see the, um, the graduation, the tones is incredible. You know, it's a nice symmetrical composition. Are you ready to rate this? Yeah. I think I am, too. Ready? Uh-huh. Three, two, one. Uh, four. Four. I don't think this is like, there's something about it that isn't going to be as memorable as like a five, but this definitely belongs in your wildlife portfolio. You know, sure. like you scroll through a bunch of pictures. What I love about this is it, it just looks so unlike anything I've seen. It's very interesting. It's very almost like fine art-esque, you know, like yeah. you kind of, it's almost implied in nature. I guess the only reason that I'm not giving it a five is that it's almost abstract in a way. Yeah. Which I, I mean, that could be on its own. It could be a. a What's so cool abstract. about this image compared to a lot that we'll probably see is that the post production on this doesn't need to be crazy. Like yeah. it's it's just naturally so beautiful. And maybe this is cropped in. Maybe this is like a much bigger photograph. Yeah, I, I have would a hard imagine time this with this one because I, I I don't necessarily I I broke my own rule. I don't necessarily know why this isn't a five. See, it's just a feeling inside, and I know that drives the community crazy. But I'm I never sorry. get offended when somebody says a five and I say a four. I feel like okay, we're in the ballpark. But when they say it's a three or a two, I'm like, you're crazy. I guess okay. The only thing I would say is that I guess from a compositional standpoint, it doesn't feel. It feels like a boat following the animal. Yeah. Whereas, like, if this were a top-down shot, where it was, like, a unique perspective, or if it was a shot from under the water, that's probably what would have given it for me is, like, a perspective that was a little bit more unique. See, I feel like I feel like this is a super unique perspective. I mean, maybe this could be shot on shore or something, but the fact that it's so close to the water line, it, it feels more intimate. I feel like I'm there with the animal versus like a drone shot shooting down or even a shot in the water where um, I guess you could be close to it there too. But the only thing that kind of bums me out is you know, I always like to see the animal's eyes. Like it feels like it's going away yeah. from you. I think that would be the only kind of critique that I would love to see the front of the animal. But, but from that position, you're not still, going to that's super cool. But it, we both agree it's a great image. 2.9? 2.9. This might be the the roughest. You guys are rough, man. Yeah. You guys are harsh. What All is right. this guy? Got some feet. Got a cool reflection there. What is going on here? All right. I think is I have like those shoes. Shooting into a pond? What's because going on? I have like those shoes are going to get automatically higher points. You have those shoes? I think I have those shoes. I wore them here. Is this like a composite or is this a uh, shooting, into, shooting into like a into puddle? A puddle. Okay. So this is going to be one where, like, I don't know what portfolio this belongs in. Like, this feels kind of like Instagram-y. It feels like an Instagram I don't know portrait. lifestyle or... I don't know what this is. Yeah. It can almost fall into, like, an ad for the shoes, but... Pleasing shapes on Instagram. You ready? I like it, though. Three, two, one... Three? Oh, three. I mean, it's cool. Like, it's very interesting to look at. It, it makes you... I like the orange red shoes like over the contrasting greens. I think they did a great job color grading the image and kind of finding something that looked interesting and there's nice pleasing I don't know about pleasing shapes, but there's nice shapes that add interest. I would personally crop off the bottom. You know, like this feels like an Instagram image and I feel like it would honestly be stronger as an Instagram image where you zoomed up and showed just the triangle of this and then the shoes up top. So you're getting rid of like a third of the bottom, that whole yeah. scaffolding yeah, I'd walkway. Yeah, of that piece huh. of it. I kind of like the uh, the vertical nature of it, and I feel like you know me. I like my rustic, urban rustic backgrounds. I kinda, it didn't do I well for like, you, but you, I, I kind of like the bottom left corner there. You hold true to those air conditioners and uh, cables. I like it. Whatever the hell. I love the about. toning of this. I love the. It almost has like an, a layered effect or a, like a texture over it. Nice. Maybe that's just the natural sky. It, it, this feels like mixed medium in some way. That's pleasing to look at. For yeah, sure. I really like it. Well, the community gives this one a 2.26. These guys are harsh, man. 
<laughs> they are. It's it's a little ridiculous. I think they're they're harsh because Lee and I can be kind of harsh. <laughs> Ooh. I really like that guy out front. There's like a... Uh, composite. I think it's a composite, or it's like there's a motion blur or something in here that... Yeah, it's a little composite. I think I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I'm going to go harsh on this. See, I, I still feel like if you're looking at this from the standpoint of a portfolio... Yeah. I still feel like it belongs... Can you turn a little bit towards me? Yeah, I still feel like I can find like little composite issues with this and stuff, but if I saw this in an advertisement and there were a thing above it, like I think this is a great piece of work. What like, What about this do you think is composited? And the area to me that's odd is that person on the right side. Like the way that they're blurry and yet the background doesn't quite... Like the background is a little bit too sharp for how blurry that person in the front is. So, oh, I see what you're saying. So it doesn't quite like blend and match, and so that makes me kind of question the composite a little bit. Um, you know, you can kind of see it like above her head um, or his this, head. This might be a guy. Well, it's obvious they miss focus here. The guy in the back, the middle guy, is the sharpest. Is the guy in the front not sharp? I mean, he's kind of he sharp. sharp. He's kind of sharp. He looks sharp. But he's got a little blur to him. But like, if you look at the whole image, the guy in the middle is where the focus is. Yeah. The yep. guy on the right, because he's out of focus, and maybe because he's cropped awkwardly, I just feel like, I get it, they're pulling the boat into the frame, but then I want the front of the boat, this whole massive part of the image, the biggest part of the image is all out of focus. I yeah, almost feel like this is one of those images where you shoot it at 5.6 and just... It should have been. It should have been shot a little bit wider. It should have been, or sorry, closed down aperture. Um, the Salvamar... If this were a commercial image, they'd be pissed the, that you're yeah, their logo. Yeah, they'd be really pissed that the logo's like kind of slightly blurry. They probably would have wanted that tweaked. And then the other thing for me is, the, the honestly, the biggest detractor for me was I really love what they did with that first person in the front. Yeah. The other two people just seem like they're there, but not the expression doesn't really match. What they're doing doesn't really. It's not convincing. The first person doing I see, a really yeah, great I job. Yeah, I agree. I agree. The first guy looks like he's out for adventure. Yeah. Second guy is bored. And then the guy on the right almost looks like he's like, I feel ridiculous being in this photo shoot. Someone just asked him to stand there. <laughs> yeah. They're like, they're literally... I love out. the tones and I love the time of day and the, the lighting. Obviously, they've lit this from the front or they've lit it from the back. There's strobes in some way here going on. Um, I love the mood of this, but when you start really looking at it, I feel like it, it just oh, it falls just, just slightly flat for me. Yeah, there, there's areas that can be improved, but I still feel like it's a good image. Community gives this a 2.81. Yeah, so it's, close, still, it's close to a 3. All right, I we like moved it. moved into the automotive world, and like our it. community loves it when Lee and I critique automotive, automotive because we know so little about it. Like, <laughs> I can't even tell you what this car is. I have no oh idea. Oh, my goodness. I have really? no idea what car that is. A Mustang? It, that's a Mustang? That looks way cooler than what I think of a Mustang. It's a slightly modified Mustang. Is this like a newer Mustang? Yeah, it looks like it. Did they redesign it? Lee had a Mustang, and I hate the way the Mustang looks. No, the newer looks. designs are really cool. I'm pretty sure it's a Mustang. Okay. Because the back lights look like a Mustang. The front almost looks like a Miata, but the back lights look like a Mustang. Yeah, it's Miata. A Mustang. It's not a Miata. That's too, way too big to be a Miata. It's a Mustang. You got red brake calibers. Did I say calibers? Calipers? I like this image a lot. I think it's cool. You ready to rate it? E yes. All right. Three, two, one, three. I got three. I really like this too, and there's a lot of car photography I don't care for. I feel like the brake lights is a little too much, right? Like the I red like, on the wall. Right? I like the red. It like gives it a punchiness, but it almost feels like it's been painted on, or it's something about it. It's a little bit overpowering, and that's what I was... You know, I almost thought they were going for red, white, and blue, like a yeah. patriotic kind of look to it. But then I was looking on the right side, and I'm like, there's no blue. So it kind of felt like the left side was weighted way too heavy with red for it to just be the brake lights. I, I think I get the point. They were trying to make it, like, maybe the brake lights reflect Oh, shit. Maybe the brake lights reflect Oh, shit. Oh, shit.
This is live. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Puerto Rican beetle. Oh my gosh, that thing nailed me right in the head. <laughs> Whoa, when they grab you. Oh, when they true. grab you. <laughs> they grab your hand. That does not feel good. That is so gross, dude. Oh gosh. See out? No! <laughs> Oh Dude, that thing nailed me right in the face. Don't like they just fly right into your face. Right in my face. We oh. just saw. Look this. I'll have to put this in the video. We just saw this uh, huntsman spider yeah, that, that I just killed. It was the size of my hand. That thing's ridiculous. Oh my gosh, it was so creepy. Now this is creeping me out. Yeah. I kind of want to stay low because we're the brightest thing in the scene. <laughs> yeah, the light the area. isn't working for us. Where were we? So, anyway, the back red taillight. The whole red on the wall is too strong. And then I felt like the highlight behind, directly behind the cab of the car is a little bit too much too. Like I like it, but it's a little bit too much. Yeah. But anyway, I, I think it's a great portfolio image. I think it's a nice composition. Are you talking reflection. about the slight here where the driver was? Yeah, just a little bit, a little bit overpowering. Do you feel like the... It's also, you can tell that it's they composited it. because they didn't match the lighting on the bottom. You notice how the light Oh, it's like the bottom is from a frame where... Yeah, where that flash didn't fire. It almost feels like, though, that's so sharp that they, like, flipped it in some way. But they do have detail in the water that... It could be, but it looks like they didn't quite complete it because you're not seeing that reflected highlight. Yeah, I don't know. I keep thinking, like, do I like the perfectly symmetrical... If I stay lower than you, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> the if I decrease my mass... <laughs> That is a good way until they come up from underneath. <laughs> this is so creepy now. Community gives this one a 2.96. So right I, right I at like three. It. That belongs in your portfolio. Oh, a little implied. I don't think that's implied. I think she's really, implied, naked. She's, she's really naked there. A, I mean, she's really naked, but it's implied that she's naked, you know? I mean, do we know this is a female? This is a, I hope so. a girly man? This would be Can some I say that? really weak shoulders. I don't think I could say weak shoulders. That's offensive. Weak shoulders? They don't do shoulder day? No, it's like you can see the chest. You can see How the... How do you think they... I guess this is like... I, the bottom part of this image looks like normal water and mist, but then the top part has this like... Streaky nature streaky to it. Streaky nature to it, yeah. Yeah, like it literally looks like... Streaky. Um, streaky. Oh, yeah. Streaky. Um, I don't... like. This is almost like pleasing in a way, and yet kind of disturbing too because like you look at the eyes it almost looks like freakish like kind of oh, almost ghoulish yeah it's almost like a but it's horror, cool horror scene or movie poster or something all right so i don't know what kind of portfolio this number. goes into but i think i'm ready One, three two. two yeah two i went you three two. you went three like this is portfolio i don't know what kind of portfolio it belongs in that's the problem yeah, but we're probably going to have that problem. I'm, I'm sure there's going to be an image that's, like, super abstract. No, because here's the thing, is that if this were boudoir, for example, and this was to you, go into a boudoir... You don't boudoir, think this could fit in a, a boudoir? I don't boudoir? think so. Because, How do you say it? Because, like, I would expect to see a little bit more... Like, I get that this is implied and that we don't necessarily want to see who it is completely. But when you see shots like this, typically, that are in a portfolio, you can tell figure and form a little bit better. You can tell, like... There needs to be a little bit more detail there. And it looks like there's also Vaseline going across the glass. I think it's a, it's a mixture of water and Vaseline. So let me get this straight. You want to see more of her face or more of her body or more of like the hand? Like is this too blurry? More shape. So if you're going to go this like blurred this out, to be honest, then I would say she needs to be more of a profile look where you see more of the chest, the hips, the hands kind of. Like it needs to be where she's looking to the side, not looking... Like, it looks weird when she's looking directly into the camera, but the eyes look like that, dude. Maybe. It looks like, it's like ghoulish. Okay, I can see that. If you said, like, her head is more sideways looking down. Yeah, so let me just demonstrate what I'm talking about Yes, right now, please, please do. I mean, like, hold on, let me get a dip. Yeah, get, get a dip, and I will uh, okay. get far away while you so demonstrate like this. this. You know what I mean? Like, That's the shot like, you would do. I mean, like, I think she could pull it off better. But it'd be like that side angle, you know. You feel I me? don't. I don't know. The th I really kind of like this. Um, I, I see what you're saying about the face being a little creepy. But if it's you wanted to, creepy. if you wanted to, 
Yeah. I mean, if Halloween's coming up. Maybe you put it in your Halloween boudoir portfolio. I see what you're saying there. Maybe you just clean up the areas to where you can see more of the face. No, oh, man, this needs to be a profile. If you're going to see the face like that and the eyes are going to look at you, you need to see the, like, you need to have more detail there. Otherwise, if this is implied and it's shapes, it needs to be shapes. The part that's bothering me the most about this image, second to the face, I think the face is kind of throwing me off now that I see it, is just this, like, grungy yellow vignetting on the corners. I almost yeah. want to see that pure white and just cleaned up. I would agree with you. It looks like a dirty glass. But I kind of, I like this image. I feel like it's, there's so much nudity on our website. This is, like, an interesting abstract. This is different. Like, I haven't seen anything quite like this before, but maybe you're right. Maybe this isn't as flattering, but I could see a killer movie poster out of this where you see another shape behind them or something. Yeah. Community gives it 2.58. So right, right, right between right the between. two of us. Oh. I like this. Oh, here we go. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready too. Okay, here we go. Go down from below. Three, two, one. I go three. Three? I go four. Four. I love this. See, I guess I'm a little more critical on this one than you are. Obviously. Not because... Obviously. Obviously. Not because it's not an incredible image. It's because I'm a little bit disappointed that, like... I guess there's not, like, a clear sense of, like... It's such an incredibly beautiful image. The three mm -hmm. lit areas, where the... You know, where that swimmer is positioned... Yet, yeah, I don't feel like this is a portrait of the swimmer. I don't feel like it's a portrait of the pool. I don't feel like it's a portrait of the environment. It, it, I, I guess this I want it to be about This is a portrait about light. Something. This is like cool light with great colors. And it's about a vibe. Like this is something I can see printed in like a locker room at the gym or like in a hotel or I don't know. Like, I don't think it has to be about the person. I don't think it ne even has to be about this pool. I think this is just like a beautiful fine art type of image. I keep toying with this and thinking, do I need that back corner? Or I could can, you I, I crop it a saying. little tighter to where the see, water yeah. just goes on forever? I think I like that a little more. And I can see what you're saying. I understand it. And I guess knowing what the image was, like the, the purpose of the image, if it was fine art, then yes, 100%. I think that's what this falls into. Or maybe, maybe it's some kind of uh, editorial for like the swim team. And it's telling a story of like the end of the day. Yeah. This would be an amazing photo for that purpose. For sure. That would be an amazing photographer if they submitted that for an editorial shot. But I but think it kind of falls in that fine art world. So many of the things in this image are, are working. I mean, you have color theory that's working with the red on the green. You have symmetry and lines. And in that, sorry, not symmetry. You have lines, leading lines going through it. But then you also have triangles. And then you have multiple geometric shapes. Yeah. So we have a triangle, but then we have another geometric shape leading in. We have highlights that are highlighting our subject, but the subject is also placed over the shadow area of the frame so that she like this pops out. This might be my favorite image I've seen so far in this critique. I might have to change my ranking. Yeah, Based you're on starting, what you said. starting to see the light. I'm going to go from a three to well, a five. The, you're going to go from a three to a five. Can I do that? Well, the community, you can't, no, you can't do that. You can't say this belongs to your portfolio and then suddenly believe it's world class. I feel class. like I went from portfolio to world class. <laughs> That's a little weird. The community is not going to agree with us. All right, I think I'm going to go up to a four. 2.69. Community doesn't know what they're talking about. It's a four. You can agree with me. That's cool. This is a super cool image. Is that rain? Mist, perhaps? It almost looks like it could be snow. Because it's like sitting on his rain jacket in a white way. But it also has this like motion to it that makes me feel like it's like a spritzer yeah, kind you of ever a, done photo yeah. shoots with spritzers and like it you think it's gonna look like thick raindrops and yeah. then it looks a little thin like misty yeah i like it i mm, i'm struggling i'll tell you why i'm struggling in a second but okay first i'm ready ranking. to rate it you ready yeah three two one i'm between a two and a half three i am as well I feel like there's some kind of post-processing you could do on this that would make it look really cool. 
This yeah. almost looks a little too straight out of the camera for me. It's like he might be exposed just a touch bright for my taste. And then it just looks like the colors are like... I like weird colors. I like to like give my images a look and play with the shadows and change them from the highlights. And I just feel like you could do some really moody stuff in the background. I, I like the... I like almost everything about this where it's at right now. Um, I do agree with you that maybe there could be a little bit more unique post-production brought to it. But I think what really, for me, adds a lot to this image is the texture of the, the spray. And we see a lot of that texture in the bottom right of the image. But in the other areas of the image, maybe it's because the shutter was not quite quick enough. Maybe it's because the flash duration wasn't quite fast enough. Whatever it is, but we have all this blurry stuff like around. And so we have this really nice texture in some areas, but then it like gets mushy and blurry in other areas. You think they composited more? It mist? almost feels like that. Like where there's either cloning or there's something done. It, it might have been, you know, in camera, but it looks like there's some sort of funny business in, you know, post. I'm not a huge fan of this water effect because it doesn't feel natural to me. Yeah. This feels like some of the test shots that I did when I first got started and I was trying to backlight water. And like I said, I sprayed a mist. Yeah. And it's got no direction. Like real rain would have like a hard direction, even if it was going all over the place. Generally, it would be thicker. And then I can't tell is it rain or snow, but like snow wouldn't, like, it's, it's too, the texture's too fluffy. Yeah, no, for sure. The other he, slight thing about this is like, I kind of wish what I knew, like, what the expression and the eyes and stuff were doing. Yeah. But. He looks like uncomfortable, but like, if this was a dark, menacing look, it might make sense. But it's almost lit in a way that he's like looking up at the heavens and it's like yeah. wonderful. I mean, I guess maybe he has an expression of wonder. Yeah, I can't really pinpoint his expression, but it's interesting enough that I like it. But it also doesn't quite feel like it's exactly what it should be either. It's a cool concept. I think it's not quite pulled together. Community gives this 2.97. The community likes that image better than the one before. That's kind of crazy. That is crazy. Community's crazy. So we've got another uh, wet Water reflection. Water reflection. Okay, looked at it long enough, and I'm gonna get back down in the water. You like it down here? I just don't want to get hit by a gigantic bug <laughs> that's like the size of your hand. I that thing, the the legs on that, like it like clinched it, like, me. Grabbed on your. It hand. was like being in Moreno's gym, and it was like, <laughs> and I just couldn't get it off. And after that spider, so oh my gosh, cool. that spider, I'll have to put that in this video. That spider freaked, I'm already freaked yeah, out. Yeah, I'm wigged out right now. All too. right, you ready? Oh, goodness. Okay. Three, two, one. Two and a half to three. I like this image. Or sorry, uh, two to two and a half. I guess for me, the tough part about this is I feel like it's pleasing in terms of like the shapes and the design. I like. I like that they got low, I like that they framed the reflection in the puddle and it leads into them. And had it just been that, I guess, it would have made a little more sense to me. Or had it just been that plus maybe one or two people, that would have made sense to me. But there's so many people and there's so much in focus and the composition doesn't necessarily lead to any one of those things that I feel like everything is competing for attention. There's not, there's not one singular purpose in this. Mm. I see what you're saying, but... But you disagree. I feel like this is just a beautiful shot that represents going to the fair or something. Like, I don't think it's trying to be this empty road with the Ferris wheel and the n nuclear sky. But don't you feel like if it was all about going to the fair, you'd see, like, footprints kind of closer to the frame, like, leading into this whole thing, like... Maybe. I mean, if I thought of the fair, it would be a lot more obese people filling the whole frame up. But I'm from the South, so... I like this. I, the boot on the left kind of bums me out. I feel like, and, and the person on the left, the full person, like, they look a little frumpy. I love the kid. I think he looks good. I don't mind the people further away, but the boot kind of bums me out. But for just a quick grab, I assume they're, like, just there for a few minutes, and they're like, oh, let me get this quick shot, and they framed it up well. I, I really like this image. Again, I don't know what kind of, like, this is street photography, I, I guess, is belongs in that kind of portfolio maybe it borders on fine art i think it needs a little finessing i like the image and that's why i'm giving it like i don't feel like it's just like needs improvement 
and yet I don't feel like it's a portfolio image. I feel like it's stuck right in between that, where it's good, but there's things that are missing that I would say would take it into a portfolio image. If you had set this up on a tripod and you had 50 frames and you could clone out the perfect people, like clone people out or put the perfect people back in, but the composition was the same. Yeah, Do then you I feel probably like would give it... Okay. I would probably be up to a three or four by then. Okay. I mean, I feel like that's if if this is more than just a snapshot. And when I say snapshot, I mean like you just quickly grabbed it, but mm-hmm. thinking through a photographer's mind. If it's more than that, and you could have a tripod set up, and you took a series of images, I would have liked to see a few different people perfectly yeah, like, placed in there. But now we're some people don't like to do composite work, and they just want to have like a single that frame. one shot. Yeah. Community gives us 2.88. Okay. Also higher than our swimmer. That's kind of crazy to me. So this is lucky number nine. One of my favorites. So this is the winner of a free tutorial. Congratulations. Go to fstoppers.com slash store to pick out any tutorial. You'd probably say your Lightroom one, but the Lightroom one's a little old now. We have a new one coming out. We have a new one coming out, so we'll have to put that and in the store as well. And some incredible presets. That was a plug. We will talk about those in a minute, but let's get to this image. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. Are the... Yep. Looks like the details are blurred out. The details. So this is a spot actually out in California. You know where this is? Yeah, their nipples are all blurred out. Yeah. Is that just... I mean, it helps us out, but... I don't know. Like, I, I feel like maybe they prepped that for Instagram. I don't see what the intent... Like, Clearly, this is an artistic nude. It's not anything that shouldn't be hidden. Tell so, me about this location, because that seems really exciting. It's a really cool location that you can actually rent out Where? in uh, California. I haven't been there. I've just seen several shoots being done there. Um, but yeah, you can actually, it's a its a shooting and studio space type thing, outdoor studio space that you can rent. So it's like a psych wall? That it's like a big psych wall that they fill with water. Really? And they have these three shapes, and uh, it's, it's becoming actually quite popular. But honestly, I really love this use of it. I've seen a lot of different shots there, yeah. Um, and I feel like most everybody's kind of doing the same thing, um, you know, getting one subject and posing them on top of a ball or posing in front of the ball. Or, but to see kind of three different subjects at three different heights, one of them kind of on the smaller side leading up into the person that's kind of, it almost feels like they're pulling each other up. Yeah, it's really, um, it's really pretty. I keep wondering, is it... Does it work well being shot this wide and having so much for? I love this highlight in the water. Yeah. Like if that highlight in the bottom left corner wasn't there and it was blue, mm-hmm. I would not like it as much. Have we rated this yet? Not yet. Ready? Maybe we should. Ready, ready, ready. Yeah. I'm get low. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. I'm four to five. Four to five. You like it a lot more than me. I mean, I I like it. It kind of. I don't want to say it bums me out, but like knowing that this is a space that always has the three balls in it. Yeah, those are fixtures. Yeah, like that kind of. Hey, what else would it be, man? You're not gonna find like a. No, I mean I could see somebody like taking balls out there, and this is some like photo shoot idea that they've well, created, and it's like a one of a kind. Would that be? I mean, does that make it any worse or any better if they went through the trouble of putting it there? It maybe it shouldn't. And I wouldn't have known unless you told me. I don't. I don't think that should affect your opinion, because it's all about what a person would do in that. In my opinion, it's all about what a person would do in that scene. And I think they did a brilliant job. And the post production is done so beautifully. Do you notice how their skin tones are really matching the highlights in the clouds? The the blues are all matching across like the sky to the water. No, like, I didn't notice that part. All right. Well, there you go. I do notice that they haven't taken everything up to like eighty percent and made it ridiculously vibrant. I do appreciate the real subtle that pastel kind of vibe. Yeah, I do yeah. I do like that. I like it a lot. I think it's really well done in in shooting it in post. Yeah, I'm I'm right there between a, I think four and a half, five ish. I think the only thing is I, I do agree with you and I'm I'm sure the photographer did this. They probably have closer crops. I do agree that a closer crop would probably be a little bit stronger. Not not super close. Yeah. Um just enough where you can kind of be led through the image and not have so much negative space. Um, so I probably would say that that would be a little bit of a, the stronger image in the series if, if that's possible, but that's fantastic. I've been thinking community gives us 3.07. Are we already at the end? No, we're about halfway. 
But I was thinking, I am so white compared to you, we should have put the light on your side. <laughs> I'm blinding everyone with my, with my pills. Maybe I, do, I can come out of the water because the uh, bugs. Can we make this racial? You make it as racial as you want. I okay. won't be offended. Okay, so for once, my brown skin's helping me. Yeah, your brown skin. Yeah. It, it's, you're, made, you're made for Puerto Rico. I yeah. am. You should move and down. And getting into universities. Yeah, you should. <laughs> getting into universities. You should move down here. That's cool. I'm not sure what the boat's in there for, but this is cool. <laughs> the boat is a little strange. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, three, two, four. You like the what? Do you, what do you like about this? What puts this over the edge for you? I. I think the pose is interesting. I think the lighting is done beautifully and the, the dodging and, and burning down the images is, is done really nicely. They've retained texture, but kind of lifted out the highlights. The balance in the image, the shapes, everything about this is very pleasing to look at. And it's, I do feel like it's pretty memorable. The main thing for me is that I don't know what the purpose of the boat is. Like it feels like that was a last minute addition or idea that didn't quite pan out. Um, and the only other thing is like, there is a... No, I think that's probably the main thing. Yeah, I don't get the boat either. I guess as, a, as I look at this image, I almost want more weird stuff in it. Like mm -hmm. more boats or something to try to make sense of it. The one single boat seems a little strange. That would make more sense if there was more of this object or... Yeah, and I'm trying to think how they shot this. Like, do you think they've composited her in? There's a lot of black around her. Or do you think they put her in some kind of pool and she's lit with, I assume it's a studio lighting. It looks like she's actually in the water. Like if you look at the arm going underneath, you look at the arm that's coming slightly above the highlights Oh yeah, yeah. she's that. definitely in water. I'm just saying like, I can't tell if this these highlights have been added. No, I think the highlights are legit. So if she's lit top down like that, I think that's the exact shape you'd get from, you know, the water that's angled in the lens versus the water that's slightly angled away. Yeah. But then she's also sitting on something probably she, she can't float like that obviously so like yeah, is it a super shallow there. pool or is she like in a big pool that they've put like a scaffolding or something where she could you know a platform she could sit on mm -hmm. I, I, it has my interest and I'm looking at it for a long time so it does have really nice tones I think does the tattoo take it out a little bit that is what and I didn't want to like I'll I didn't want it. to say it from like I the talk subject about tattoos standpoint, all the time. but like, yeah, I do feel like that that's a distractor for like me. Like if that arm was just more normal skin tone, it fits exactly. the boat perfect. Like I find myself keep going, my eye keeps going to the tattoo, which really has very little to do with whatever the story is. Exactly. And I just keep thinking like, man, if the arm just was that's flesh. That's the piece for me that doesn't do it. And as a, you know, like that's, that's where I kind of draw the line where as a, portrait image of a client I would say that this is five out of five stars like this is this yeah. is a world-class image but if we were to say that this is a commercial image and it's designed to be commercial then the tattoo becomes distracting for me and it becomes a piece that takes away from the image yeah you almost want like maybe more tattoos or or clean or maybe I wonder if you could just desaturate it a little bit so that it's still there but it's not like that would definitely help for sure I the don't reds know. and the blues don't match that scene yeah Community, they like it. Three point one eight. Ooh, I like this. Have we had a landscape image yet? No. <gasps> I already know what I'm gonna give this. Do you know where this is? No, Iceland. Everybody I'm gonna guess it's like Norway. It, it's Nordic. It is in origin. That water is violent. Okay. You ready? Three, two, one, five. Pi gives a lot of fives. I, I never do this, guys. It's because I'm tired. You're tired and you're slightly happy. Well, don't get too happy in here. Make it awkward for all of us. <laughs> um, what why? do you okay, have to so, say about this? Well, first I want to know why you gave it a four. I think it's a solid composition. I love the subject matter. I love that it's not a beautiful, bright, and sunny day. Um, I think that the toning is really interesting. You know, none of the blacks are crushed. None of the vibrance is to 100. 
there's part of me that just feels like some of this spray is like so like especially the spray here in the middle that's like going up I don't know it's it's pretty and it is okay. nice I've just seen so many landscape photos like this that again that shouldn't detract from like so I would say it's a four, four, four and a half to a five and there's like small and tiny tweaks that I would make like you know how they're kind of going for this very balanced composition where the houses are in front of the mountain and framed with the mountain, but they could have pulled the camera slightly over to the right more to get the houses a little bit more balanced in between there. Mm -hmm. And they could have like maybe timed the shutter to get slightly more pleasing sprays, like that one that's going straight up is a little bit odd. And maybe they could have lengthened these out a little bit. But to me, like I know that we see stuff like this a lot. The toning is done incredibly well. The composition is nice. The clouds, the, everything about this is very pleasing to look at. The, the color grading that they've applied to this and uh, you know the slight reds and yellows yeah. contrasting against the greens. and Everything about this is something that I would hang and put up a wall. We always like to try to play with the crop and see if there's something we like better. So, I don't know if there's a crop here that's better. I mean, I'm gonna say four and a half to five. Those are the slight, tiny improvements, but there's something just like there's so much water in the fore, in the front, bottom ooh, left. Leads into it, bro. Yeah, it leads into it. I think my biggest thing is I don't like this spray right in front of the houses. Yeah, and I'm assuming that this is a composite. That's just my assumption. This is a, several images that have been blended together. Um, but if not, and you've set a tripod up to get this, I would probably just brush in something to take that down just a notch. Yeah, if they have a second shot or a different shot, then that'd be worth removing for sure. Community gives us a 3.32. Back oh, to okay. product photography. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I know what I would give this. I think I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one. I'm going harsh here, and I'll tell you what I don't like about this. It's like the background sprays are super out of focus, and then you have this really polished... We did a critique where there was a beer can like this, and Lee was like, I'm convinced that this has been retouched in India. Because <laughs> Lee thinks there's this Indian look, and you know what? He was right. Was it really? It was. The beer was from India, and the retoucher... The photographer was from India as well, and I was like, how That's in the world did you know that? I don't know that I can go that far with this, but it does have this, like, incredibly bright, crisp water look that I feel like guys that do this at the highest level, their water splash doesn't always have that look to it, but I like the theme. I like what you're doing here. I just don't know that I like this background that's super blurry, and then this, and the product also feels like it's kind of sideways. Maybe it's, that's the best angle to photograph it, but... It's raining, bro. I know. We're going to have to hurry up and get this critique done, or we're going to get more wet. I mean, I see what you're saying. Critique. The only reason that I gave it a 4 instead of a 5 is that I felt like this is an image that deserved to be over a dark gray or black background, and the background rain is distracting for me. Yeah. But everything else is fine about it. I like it. It's a fishing, a fishing reel, and it's being cast over water, and I think it's very appropriate, and it looks cool. It does look cool, and it's nice lighting, like, it's just conceptually something feels a little off. And they also did a really great job with the specular highlights on that, you know, with the way that they lit that metal and, and those kind of things are not easy to light, and they did yeah. a really nice job with all the highlights they and did, the shaping. They did, I will agree with that. All right, we're going to go a little quick here because we're about to get rained on. Community gives it 3.51. Find me on Tinder. What in the world? Wow. Okay. It's kind of got that neon look that we were talking about. It's so got that 80s, right now. the 80s coming back. I don't know what to make of this. Do you think they really wrote that, or is that a text that's no, like... I think they might have written that on there. Huh. Because it looks is... like the... Um, it looks like the... Colors are showing through the back side of it. You know what I mean? Like the colors match. Yeah. The subject matter is so strange that I don't really know what to give this, but... I... yeah, okay. Alright. You ready? Yeah. 
Three, two, one. I'm giving this a four, and part of me feels like that's a huge mistake. But whatever this weirdness is, it's done so well. <laughs> and I don't know what it's trying to say, and I don't know what the girl's doing, and I don't know what this is about, but I feel like it's it's really well done, and it, you know, it, it, there's an emotion that it's pulling out of me. Yeah, is it a biological one? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Is it making you <laughs> wet? Oh my goodness! Find me on Tinder, Pie. Find me I mean, on Tinder. I I I think and the you concept two can is, bathe with me in the shower filled with magenta and blue light. The concept is cool. I gave it a three because like this is one of those where you said earlier it it kind of is like portfolio quality. I don't know what portfolio goes in, but it's portfolio quality, and that's what I feel like. It's an interesting concept, and it's kind of done well. I don't know. It feels almost like a, a like a murder thriller type like shot that you might see like on the cover of a, a of a movie poster. It looks um, like a Netflix movie cover. Yeah, that's the, gonna have a like a three star. Rating. The titling. Find me. It, it almost looks exactly like that. Like if it yeah. was like a documentary on like hooking up on hooking Tinder. up on Tinder. Um, then this is completely appropriate. If it's a wedding photograph. I'd say you missed the mark a little. <laughs> This is the morning after. This is the morning the after. The morning after session. <laughs> the morning after the wedding didn't go so well, you can find me back on Tinder. Is that kind of the thought? I keep looking at the bottoms of her shoes, and I keep thinking, like, is that the light or is that the color of her shoes? But I almost wish her shoes were just black or darker. I don't know why that little detail bothers me, but... I have a feeling there's... That detail probably doesn't bother a lot of people. There's a lot of other things to look at. I'd be interested to see, like, if you if we threw this on the F-Stoppers community, we should, because this is part of our community. But if we threw this on our Instagram, I'd be curious to know how many likes this got compared. Because this has, like, all the elements to make for a Typical. really well-received, at least on our Instagram. But, I don't know about on Linen Jersey. Yeah, you let's might, not put it on might. the Linen Jersey website. <laughs> um, the, the one thing that I was like kind of my eyes keep going to is that the bottom left of the frame a um, little edge it, of purple no it feels like there's other skin tones down there and it like doesn't an make arm. sense like a weird arm and a weird leg that are going out in other directions whereas on the other side it, it feels like huh. a you know it could be a tub so that's the yeah, only thought there is that I did I did notice that it odd. looks like an armpit or something yeah but otherwise I mean interesting community gives this a 2.88 still being harsh Okay, this is better. Is that a texture? Oh no, she's actually that's actually water in a studio. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, how was this shot? They came to the studio and they're like, Don't worry, bro, we're just gonna make it rain in here and uh we'll put it all back the way we found it. I would murder somebody if they did that in their studio. It's a cool shot though. It's very cool. I have my number. I I'm, I'm ready to. Three, two, one, three. I'm going four on this one. See, I'm like three and a half, three, three and a half ish. Here's it's, my, my it's thought. It's hard. I don't want to cut you off. No, that's cool. It's hard with the sexy girl thing because there's so much of it. And maybe you don't have this on your website, but our website's full of stuff like this. But not done at this level. This has like. It just. The water and the rain is just so cool, and it's done really well. I think it's done very well from a technical standpoint. I don't know that, like, my, my main issue, this is a portfolio image. Let me just say that. It's a portfolio image. It's a great image. It's done extremely well. I have nothing against that side of it. What I'm trying to think about here, though, is that you had the opportunity to shoot a beautiful subject with rain in a really great controlled location. Yeah. And yet I don't feel like any of that action is necessarily playing through because of how wide, like we're so worried about the technicalities of the shot of like not cropping off anything and making sure that we show the entire body and all this kind of stuff. But I feel like the action of the rain is being lost in the shot. But if you were to actually zoom in, like imagine if you were to crop I in, see what you're doing. Yeah, you and want... you were to go to these different areas, you'd be able to see all the detail that's being captured, crop into all the, the stuff details, that's happening. Yeah. So that's my issue with this: is that you had such a wonderful playground of detail and interest to, to photograph, but we went with the thing that was the most safe. 
Are you sure you don't want just the background darker so that the rain is more backlit? Is that, that what you're saying? That was my second piece of critique, was that the background is a little bright. I don't know quite, when you're talking about, I mean, don't get me wrong, <laughs> zoom in all you want on this image, but I'm just wondering, like, what more detail do you need to the see The background here? needs to be darker. And, and if you were to zoom in, like, you would actually see, like, all the dripping drops, like, off the leg, and you'd see all the... I see. You know, so like, you're saying more of a compressed, like, maybe a longer lens or something? I'm saying getting in for the details. Like, like the details, get I think, are what Get into this, are, yeah. Yeah, longer, yeah, longer I, lens, I, you know, so that you don't have to get in there. There's some little spotlight vignette thing happening in the middle of her that yeah. I don't know if I like it or dislike it. I think I feel it's doing like, it a disservice. I feel like I almost want more of the gray, gray tones that are up in the top corners to be lower on the body, and sure. that would make the rain effect stronger. It would probably make her pop more, too, because she's so bright and white against the gray, but it just feels like they just dodged it. Maybe it's a strobe back there that's doing that. I don't quite know I, what's I going on. I kind of want the whole background to be two stops darker. I love that all this water and little puddles and stuff are in this like studio that's space. I mean. There's so much like detail there to be it's photographed. pretty cool. Maybe you could just like sharpen and contrast it up a little bit more. And it just isn't the same. It's not it isn't the same, same as full resolution up close. 3.46, that's one of the highest rated images we've seen. I can't remember what the winning image was, but that's up there. That's really nice. More girls in water. Okay. And no, that water so, is not on her face. That's on the iPad. Rate this as if you hadn't seen this shot before. What does that mean? I haven't seen this shot before. Well, because like it's a it's a shot that a lot of people will do. Oh yeah, yeah. But like, rate it from like a consumer client perspective who necessarily isn't a photographer and they're just looking at this for the first time. I mean, I try to throw that into all of my ratings pie. Whatever, bro. Whatever. You ready? I'm gonna rate it as if it goes in your portfolio or not. <laughs> okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Two and a half to three for me. This is kind of a cliche, I think this is what you're getting at, a cliche image that yes. everybody does. Yes. But this is done pretty well. Like, it looks natural. I can't tell if she's lit with strobe or filled in, but she's got really nice light on her, and it's got this punchiness and this clarity that's really nice. And the skin retouching, if there's skin retouching done, looks pretty nice. I was wondering I think. if this was sharp, because it looked like there was so much softness to it. Yeah, it's and hard to tell from the images that they upload because sometimes they upload small, low-res images, even though, or our yeah. website resizes them so that they're not massive. The skin also felt just like a little bit plasticky, like a little bit too soft. Like on the up, the top part, or overall? But just overall. Um, she kind of has like the over-sharpened eyes. A little bit. But compared but to a lot of the stuff things. we see, yeah, I think it's kind of small. I love the tones of this. I love the foreground and the background blurriness. I feel like it holds equal weight, like it looks really nice. It's mm -hmm. not so shallow that, you know, it the craze these days is shoot 85, 1.2 on everything. I feel mm -hmm. like there's just enough depth of field here. Um, I really like her expression too. It's like, it's kind of playful and inviting, but it's not trying to be like too over the top. She yeah. doesn't look uncomfortable. She looks like she's Peter Hurley always says, are you playing with the camera or is the camera playing with you? And I feel like she's playing with the camera. Like she's, she feels pretty comfortable here. My only, I guess the only reason why I'm stuck in this like kind of two and a half to three range for this shot is because I feel like I'm having a hard time. The photographer has obviously a beautiful subject and they have water and they have all this kind of stuff, but with those two things together, I feel like they took a shot that's the go-to, like the go-to, like like everybody would have took this shot. Yeah. Like, what if her? I'm, and I'm going to demonstrate because we're in a pool, and I feel like please, we should please do, yes. But you know, what if this was all just about the eyes? I got water in my nose right now. That hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Went straight up my nose. So maybe she dips down and she goes about the eyes. I don't know if you can. When you're shooting in water, it's really difficult to get the water to not move, even when you're the only person in the pool. So maybe they could have waited and had a little bit of patience to wait until that water is glass and gotten a better reflection and gotten some more interest in the shot. There's just a lot of, I feel like there's a lot of potential here that could have been touched on that really wasn't. 
there could have been action. There could have been water, like, you know, brought into the frame. Like, what if you bring your hands out and it was dripping? What if you just came out of the water and you had water running down the face? There's a lot of what ifs, and I play this game every time I do the critiques. But this is the image they submitted, and this is the one they thought belongs in their yeah. portfolio. It's good. It's good. There's one little thing I've noticed that the hair sticks out. Yeah, like right here, her on her forehead, there's like this pinkness. Yeah. I just want them to like burn that in or like. I kind of also want them to fix some of the flyaways on the side. The flyaways are there bother you? I like the little swishy hair. Like they both kind of wrap around the yeah. face in a nice way. I like the image. 3.2, community says. Ooh. That's cool. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Three, two, one. Is it two? I'm giving this image. I a give two. it a four. You're giving this a four. Why the heck do you feel like this deserves a two? I feel like I feel like the lighting's sloppy on this. It's like this cross lighting that's like not hitting his arms evenly. That's what makes it look interesting, bro. I don't love all the foreground. I feel like I. I've thought of this shot a lot because in the last critique we had with Joey, somebody took a picture of a swimmer from an underwater housing from below and they had all the bubbles in the face. I just didn't think it was a very good photo. And I've seen images of Olympic swimmers or swimmers in general that are taken from the Olympics and these incredible events and they're world-class images, right? They're not lit with strobe, usually. They don't have access to that or they can't. But this is one of those images where it just it doesn't feel quite right like i don't like the lighting on his face i don't like the lighting not hitting his arms it's like hot on his fingers and hands and i don't like that the scene above him is not i don't know just something about this it feels and i say this a lot and it's hard for me to really articulate what it is this feels like a test shoot from a photographer who's trying to figure something out and this isn't I'm disgusted right now. Tell me why it's a four pie. Tell me why this is a four. No. Because you already know our community doesn't believe it's a four. No. I'm done. I'm not going to talk anymore. I think when you get back to LA, you need to do a swimming photo. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe that'd be the next competition. I'm at this place maybe where... You're ready for bed. I just don't care. No, like... I understand, like, the technical perfection aspects, but I also, like, want an image to pull me in, and I want it to be interesting, and I want it to have a cool story, and I, I think those things are so much more important. And, yes, there's elements of the lighting here. Like, I would love to see the shadows lifted a bit. I'd love to see the hands, like, burned a little bit where, you know, it's, it's hyper bright. Um, and the main thing is that the flags in the background don't really make sense to me. Like, I almost feel like you'd be better off just kind of pinching and cropping this in just a little bit, like, wide scale and leaving those flags out of this shot or doing something else with that background. Um, like, but getting the background to be pure black, I think would have made it like a little bit more, more better. But yeah, like the technical perfection to me, like of this shot doesn't detract from how cool it is and the, the action that's being captured and all those different things about it. And that's kind of like, I guess recently I've been trying to take my own imagery more towards the, I get how to be technically and you're making fun of me for this but it's the whole like perfectly imperfect kind of idea of like building in some flaws and building in something that brings it back to a relatable story driven no, image that. So but I, this image like is it. shot from a technical point of view this isn't like they have you know the thousand watt strobes in the ceiling and they're just firing light everywhere so that you can capture a moment like you would at an NBA game or something. This is shot to where they've set up strobes and they've worked with the model, like this is intentional. And when you're gonna go that route, I feel like the strobes are probably just out of the frame. The brightest thing in the whole photo is his hands and the lane dividers. I just feel like this could be done a little bit better. Tell me this, you're a watch person. Imagine those flags were taken out. That's not the quality of a watch photo. A little dodged. Could you not see like an Omega or whatever the divers thing here and then this I can out? see this style in that type of ad, yes. I just don't think this is even close to the caliber that Omega would use. Okay. I think they would have a photographer who had boomed a soft strip box over there and had the highlight running the entire length. Like, they would have done it at the highest level. Okay. Uh-oh, our battery died. We now know 
how long. It either died or it got flooded. But this is the Lytra Pro full spectrum by color. 30 meter waterproof light. Real or real Lee is going to kill me if I ruined it. I'm hoping that just the battery's dead. But I'm sure it's just the battery. Put that out there. No more hot tub. I light. think it's good. I think there could be improvements, but I think it's a great image. Community gives it a 3.3. They liked it more than I did. They're closer to me than they are to you. This is cool. Is this perfectly imperfect? I would say this is pretty perfect, actually. Um, does this almost feel like a video game to you? Like, I don't even know if this is a photograph. <laughs> they have done that before, where they slip in a, a rendered screen grab. This feels like a rendered screen grab. Ready to rate it? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one... I'm going to go three, four-ish. I don't know how to rate this because I like it a lot, but the sun rays feel so fake to me. And I've done a lot of dives, and I've tried to do underwater photography and have failed greatly. This I don't know true. how, like, You've this could... You've been underwater, and it's never really looked like that. But right? it could. That's the thing, like... And I don't, I always rate these as like, if this was fake or real, does it matter? But like, it feels, if it makes you feel like this is a computer generated image, CGI or from a game, it's rendered in some way. It just, it doesn't quite feel like, like if this is the real image, I almost feel like I want to tone down or vignette or do something to, to make the rays not so over the top. It does to me look almost too perfect. And that's why like I, I mentioned the whole computer rendering thing um, there's elements of this that I, if this is a photograph my main thing here is like the, the pieces that are missing to make it memorable or world class is a sense of action and a sense of like kind of it needs more of a story or it story. needs yeah. it needs something happening like fish or a shark or a yeah, wreck exactly. or something right now it's a really cool and pleasing image um, it just doesn't have that I agree extra piece of story so you gave this what a three? Between a three and a four. Three and a four. That's pretty high. They give three point four five. Community really likes that. I wonder if we're being trolled here. I'd love to know how this was shot. What's a drone shot looks like? Is it? What are we looking at? I think it's a top-down shot of like glacial formations or something. Could it be a macro shot of some. You Does this so? feel wet to you at all? Like, what is the interpretation of wet? I think that's ice. Dude, that's crazy looking. It's really cool. It looks like ice rivers, like frozen. Yeah. See, this almost feels like a macro shot of, like, the first freeze of the year, where it's not frozen yet, but we're looking at, like, tree bark or... I have no idea what we're looking at. Yeah. What kind of river is... Alright, rate it. Three, two, one... Two to three-ish? I give this a four. I, I really like it. I guess the only reason why I'm there is because usually on a topographical photograph that's really kind of prize-winning, award-winning, like awesome I'm portfolio, not convinced that that's what this is. Usually you can tell what it is. So like, that's my issue here is that it's hard for me to tell what this is, but it's definitely pleasing to look at. I'd, I'd probably say it... See, we have a lot of images like this. We have this guy who takes macro shots of beta fish tails, uh -huh. and they're so beautiful, and it's like pastel, soft colors, and I really like this stuff. It's refreshing. It's different. Um, it's definitely interesting, for sure. I just, I have no idea what I'm looking at. I don't really care. I'm rating this as like a fine art piece of work. Like, I feel like... That's kind of the way I'm it too. I wish I could tell a little more about what it was. The composition and the movement and everything. See, I like that. I don't know what it is. I think that's interesting. It reminds me of like, did you ever take biology class where you had like to dissect a pig? Yeah. And they inject the veins with all oh, the, yeah, the yeah, rubber yeah. and everything and it's like it goes everywhere. Kind of has that vibe. Oh, community gives this 3.4. Another really highly rated one. And I believe this is our final image of the entire critique. So this is cool, and maybe just because I'm a portrait photographer, I'm drawn more to portraits than anything. 
I find images like this far more interesting and appealing to look at than the last shot. I know the last shot, like, there's a lot of people that just appreciate that as a, as a fine art type image mm -hmm. and as something you might just like looking at. For me, for some reason, it doesn't quite do for me. This one, though, this to me has a sense of story and purpose of this guy just kind of like out on the lake. Yeah. Being caught in a rainstorm. Like, it has so many different interpretations that you can take with it. And I really appreciate that about it. He feels very much like he's in a situation we could have easily been in with this critique. 100%. All right, you ready to rate this? Yep. All right, three, two, one. Going four? Going four. I think it's great. I keep wanting to crop tighter or wondering if the camera... I think there's only two things that I would potentially change to make this slightly more strong of an image. The the overall toning is beautiful. Yeah. I would love to see like because he has so many nice green tones in the jacket and there's so much green already in the image. I feel like the blues like the whole image could just vibe with this like teal look. Um, the really? blues off to the left kind of maybe that's what their interpretation is. Maybe that's like the the sky coming in and like the the rain letting up. I don't know. But Are you talking me, about the highlight over here on the left? On the left side, like how you see a lot more blues on this side, and it goes, like, I want everything to fall into this right side tone. Right mm, there. I see what you're saying. It Where would definitely be a gloomier, like, it's a changing moody. that would have a huge impact on the overall vibe of this image. It would. It would look more moody. It would look like maybe their intention is that the sky is changing and that, you know, thing is brightening up. And if that's the case, then by all means, don't change it. The only other thing, too, is that the trees in the background I just wish the skyline was kind of all mountainous but I mean you can't really do much to change mm, I that like, I like the variety I think it'd be a little boring if it was just all mountainous do you think so yeah I like the trees there a the little island and everything really cool image I like it a lot you give it a three though I give it a three I mean I don't think it's like amazing I just think like it's kind of cool it's it's well done it's got the story we always joke about the story I, I like the stories I feel like Something's either happening to this guy, or he's frustrated that it's raining on him, but he, he's got a good look to him. He's got a good vibe. Like, he's going to get through it, you know what I mean? Stuff like this makes me wonder if this was styled, and this was, like, they went out to create photos, or if this is, like, some guy's buddy, and it's just, they got lucky, and he's like, man, like, let me get, I got my camera with me, got good light on you, I'm in the front of the canoe. In today's age, I always feel like it's intentional. Yeah. Like, we're going to go out and get Instagram photos, but maybe that's just me being cynical. Yeah. 3.39, pretty high rating for the community. Well, that wraps it up. That was pretty successful. I would say so. I think so. Well, there's some cool images there. I really didn't know what we were about to see with I was hoping wet. more giant bugs would fly into Patrick. I'm glad they didn't. Especially given... I'm glad they didn't. That spider that you freaking killed out here, that was ridiculous. Yeah, that's like, my girlfriend's horrified. And I, I keep thinking, like, if that was right there, that's just a few feet from being in your guest room. If you guys enjoyed this critique, head to the description below and submit your images. What was the one you picked again? Moody? Moody. Your best Moody picture, and I don't know, in a week or so, we will critique those as well. If you want to learn from some of the best photographers in the world, head over to fstoppers.com slash store where you can check out our full-length tutorials. You create tutorials and presets and all kinds of cool stuff. What is something they can check out if they don't know what Pi Jerza has been up to? Well, they can check out srlounge.com is our educational content, primarily for portrait, wedding, engagement, that kind of stuff. We also just released um, a completely new way to develop images in Lightroom via lighting condition based presets that's under visual flow or vfpresets.com vfpresets.com mm -hmm. that just came out or is coming out at this very moment it'll be out soon okay well head over there bookmark it and we gotta get out of here because I'm tired of these bugs freaking me out and I am super wet peace let's dry off <laughs>